What foods can you eat to lower your creatinine and increase your GFR? Stay tuned to find out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified nephrologist. That's right. I'm a real doctor as well as an internet doctor. And I'm also the cooking doc. Now, just because I am a doctor, I am not your doctor. So please, this is for informational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Today, I'm gonna cover one of the most common questions that I get from people who come to see me in the office or from people who comment on my videos. They often ask me what foods they can eat to help lower their creatinine. The goal of anyone with kidney disease is to maintain or improve their kidney function. And that's measured in something called the creatinine level or something called the glomerular filtration rate. And so anybody with kidney disease is looking to keep their creatinine lower, which means their kidneys are filtering better, or their GFR higher. So what better way to do that than if there were a specific food that you could eat that would actually make that happen? And if you look on the internet, there are actually sites that will tell you that red pepper or cabbage or berries or nettle tea are things that you can consume that will lower your creatinine, make your kidney function better, and keep you off of dialysis. And they come up pretty quickly on your Google search when you look for these things. And these are the things that everybody is looking for when they come to see the kidney doctor or when they find out they have kidney disease. And when they hit that Google search, how do I make my creatinine go down? And of course, that's what everybody wants to know and what I am here to talk to you about. But the idea that there is a single food that will make your creatinine go down is frankly a little bit offensive. The truth is, of course, as it is with most things, that there's no one simple solution or one simple food that's gonna snap your fingers, make your health better. Why is that? Well, besides the brain, and of course I'm a little bit biased, but I think that the kidneys are the most complicated organ in the body. Each kidney is filled with a million of these things called nephrons, and these nephrons do the filtering, of the blood in your body and they also maintain the balance of things in your body something called homeostasis and these are complicated functions that these kidneys do and so what happens over time is if somebody develops chronic kidney disease oftentimes they lose the number of nephrons that they have that are filtering the blood and maintaining the homeostasis so maybe you're born with a million in each kidney but at some point, that number gets way lower, and when that happens, you develop chronic kidney disease because the kidneys can't filter enough because they don't have enough of these functioning filters. And this is a complicated process that often takes years. So the audacity of these internet sites telling you that there is a food that you can eat that will lower your creatinine and improve your kidney function is crazy. Most of the damage is done by either diabetes or vascular disease and these scarring processes take years and years to come about and there is not one single food that you can eat that is on that list that will actually make the creatinine itself go down. So if you go into the doctor's office and your creatinine is 1.5 or it's 2 and you want to make it go down to 1 and you want to know what food you can eat to make it do that, there is none. And don't even get me started right now because I know some of you are thinking it, oh, he's a medical doctor. Of course, he's not going to tell you that there are foods, these natural remedies that are going to be able to fix your kidneys. You know, he's part of the, uh, the medical establishment. And yes, that's true. I'm part of the medical establishment. But for those of you who have been paying attention to me for the last five years, you know that I'm all about food and I'm all about healthy eating to help protect your kidneys. And there is a way that it can be done, but there are not single foods out there that are gonna make your kidney function better from when you go to the doctor one time to the next. That's the point I'm trying to get to you today. And if there were one, if I could just say, go drink nettle tea, that'll improve your creatinine, better your GFR and keep you off dialysis, you better believe I would be serving it out of fountains at my office. The answer isn't in one food. The answer isn't in superfoods. The answer is in a pattern of eating that focuses on less red meat, lower animal protein, more plant-based foods, lower sodium, less sugary drinks. 
eating in a way that will control your diabetes, learning to cook at home, learning to develop flavors that taste amazing. That's the pattern of eating that will help keep your kidneys filtering where they need to be. And of course, some of these foods that they list on these websites are in there. Of course, so berries, sure they're good for you. Cabbage, sure it's good for you. Red pepper, sure it's good for you. But those foods in and of themselves don't lower the creatinine and don't make your GFR better. So don't fall for what else they're trying to sell you. And that's usually either a supplement or a quick fix. Now there are a few things that you can eat that can directly impact your creatinine and you should know about these. If you have a lot of creatine in your diet because you're building muscle protein, that can increase your creatinine. If you have a diet that is really high in red meat, say you eat a 48 ounce T-bone steak, that may make your creatinine higher if you have your blood work drawn a few hours after um, you have that meal. Medications may make your creatinine go higher. So coming off those medications may make the creatinine go lower. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that that's better for your kidneys because some medicines actually increase your creatinine and are good for your kidneys. But don't even get me going down that road because that is a confusing one. The bottom line is just trust your doctor. And lastly, of course, is water. Water does actually have the ability to make your creatinine go down. So for example, if you, if you guzzled a few cups of water before having your blood work, it's possible that your creatinine will be much lower than it would have been if you had come in dehydrated. And that's because that water will actually dilute the creatinine inside your blood but it won't do anything for your actual underlying kidney function and it won't do anything for the long-term health of your kidneys. So there's no need to drink extra water before your blood work to make that creatinine go down a little bit. So the answer, just like always, is keeping your kidney function stable for the long run, keeping your kidney function healthy, preventing kidney disease, managing kidney disease is all related to long-term patterns of eating, these are changes in your diet that you have to make that you can continue over many, many years. This is not done with a simple fix or a food or a tea. Stick with it. There are ways it can be done, but don't get suckered into thinking that one change or one food is going to be the difference maker. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you check out my website, thecookingdoc.co. Oh, check out my book, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, A Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease, and we will see you next time. Thank you.